In the days preceding our adventure, we spent our time preparing for the expedition. We stocked up on supplies, packed, and explored Kotzebue. When it came time for the first group to leave, we headed down to the harbor, helped load up the boat, and saw it off to Cape Espenberg. But due to poor weather, the boat was unable to return immediately. I tried to boat out, except then the, the waves were too big, so we couldn't boat out. Some people got stuck out there. With our spare time, we set out on the town to collect portraits of Kotzebue residents. Oh, but the weather was kind of bad, so the boat's still Oh, so you're, you guys are cleaning up the ocean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. going along the beaches and picking up trash. So. Oh, okay. With the boat still unable to return the following day, we were forced to find other means of transportation. It's 541. Right now, we're about to get on a plane. Finally, we had arrived at Cape Espenberg. Welcome to the first day of marine debris cleanup. We finally made it. It's really exciting. This was our first day of real work. We set out onto the beach to collect six categories of debris, plastics, foams, rope, rubbers, non-rusting metals, and other miscellaneous trash. Each full trash bag we collected was dutifully weighed, recorded, and dumped onto the back of the four-wheeler. Our hope was that by removing this trash, we would save the lives of the marine mammals and birds inhabiting this ecosystem. Animals inhabiting these ecosystems can become entangled in netting swallow plastic fragments, or be injured by sharp pieces. Entanglement, ingestion, starvation, and digestive blocking are common causes of death for marine animals due to debris. On the way back, we discovered a small cemetery placed upon a hill overlooking the ocean. In it were half a dozen white wooden crosses, surrounded by a low wire fence. It was a reminder of the people who had once occupied this place. We cleaned up trash from a private upland coastline area. The owner had requested help in cleaning the area in order to prevent some of this material from becoming marine debris. On our second cleaning day, we rendezvoused with men from Shishmaref, a small village of about 600 located farther down the coast. They helped us clean debris from the beaches using their four-wheeler which was stuck in second gear. The extra four-wheeler allowed us to cover more ground, even if it only went 10 miles per hour. We discovered debris that had been cemented into the sand. It had been there for so long, it was now part of the landscape. Unable to remove some pieces, we left them where they lay. Our final day in the wild consisted of posing for photos using the debris laying around our camp. Then we were gone. We had cleaned miles of beach and hopefully reduced the human impact on a fragile ecosystem of marine mammals and birds.